tentacle out of nowhere. Yeah, Dad was driving down the road. I saw tentacle and I was like, oh, maybe he might pop up. Wait up, he's not, he's not letting me battle him. He's riding in this gym, it's stressing me out. Come on, please. Previously on Pokemon Go. So spooky. Yeah. Welcome back everybody to a brand new episode of the Pokemon Go Adventure. Today we're going to look into a little more of the technical side of things with Pokemon Go. We're going to look at the top five strongest Pokemon within Pokemon Go. So today I started out my day like I have been for the last week. I wake up, I check the subreddit for Pokemon Go, I check my Twitter mentions to see what else is going on because it's just so cool. Every day we're finding out new things. And today someone linked me on Twitter which is like, I think it's a database from the game or something that essentially explains the highest CP for every Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Now they've included legendaries in this list so I would assume they've taken it from the game so this is actually pretty interesting. And for those people who didn't know, past level 30, you can't actually um, get a higher level Pokemon. 30 is the max, and I'm talking about the Pokemon level that you get in Pokemon Go. So yeah, I hope you guys will find this video entertaining and useful. If you guys do, let me know the like rating down below. And of course, if you do enjoy these Pokemon Go videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. So I'm going to leave the website down in the description as well if you guys want to check it out and see what your favorite Pokemon's high CP level is as well. Also, big shout out to our boy Magikarp, who is actually the lowest maximum CP out of every Pokemon. Makes sense though, when you think about it. Okay, so I'm gonna do two top fives. I'm gonna do a top five with all the Pokemon, including the legendaries, and then I'm gonna do the top five with all of the Pokemon that you can get in the game right now, because those two lists, they, they change pretty dramatically. So first things first, I'm gonna start out with all the Pokemon, legendaries included, even the ones we can't get, and uh, we're gonna go from number five to number one. Okay, so starting us off with number five, we have our boy Zapdos. Now, interestingly enough, the uh, legendary birds don't actually have the same highest maximum CP values, which is kind of interesting. I would have thought they would have been equal. Now, I ain't saying this has to do with which team's better or whatnot, but uh, yeah, Zapdos coming in at number five, and then we've got number four, and that is your boy Moltres. Now, uh, interestingly enough, Articuno didn't make the top five for this. Am I throwing shade at Team Mystic? Maybe a little bit, because who likes those guys? What's that, what's that, like, quote? It's like, the enemy of my enemy is my best friend or something. It's like me and Team Valor right now, you know? Like, just... Screw Mystic, fam. Okay, so coming in at number three, we have our boy Mew, who comes in with a CP maximum value of 3299, nearly 3.3k, but uh, that's his maximum CP that you can catch him at when you can catch him. Who knows when that's going to happen. Moving on to number two, we actually have our first capturable Pokemon that you can catch right now in Pokemon Go that's actually out. It's not a legendary, and that is your boy Dragonite, coming in at 3,500 for his maximum CP value. Now, I believe all these values are when you catch a Pokemon at level 30 in-game, because that's when you can achieve a higher CP value Pokemon, and it maxes out of that. You can't get anything higher than that at level 30, I believe, is what they were saying on Reddit. And then number one... You, you, you already know what it is. You already know what number one is, and that is your boy Mewtwo. Coming in at 4,144 as his maximum CP level that you can capture him at. Um, when you can capture him. I know a lot of people were talking about these raids kind of things that you'd see in the trailer uh, for Pokemon Go. So that's going to be really interesting uh, when that actually comes out. But he is the only Pokemon right now that has a CP value of over 4,000. So that's really interesting. Okay, and then we've got a separate list over here for non-legendaries. And uh, coming in at number five, we've got Exeggutor. He has a CP value maximum of 2,955, just under 3,000. A lot of these Pokemon are just under 3,000. Number four coming in is your boy Lapras, 2,980, so only just beats the Exeggutor. And then he is only just beaten again by Arcanine, which is 2,983. Beats him by three CP value levels. And then at number two, we have the only non-legendary Pokemon apart from number one that has over 3,000 maximum CP value, and that is your boy Snorlax, the big fat Snorlax at 3,112. And of course, you already know what number one is. That would be your boy Dragonite, 3,500 again. And he is, yeah, the best Pokemon that you can catch right now with the high CP value. Alright, well, hope you guys did enjoy the little information bit at the start of this video. If you guys want to see more of these little informational uh, tip kind of things at the start of videos, let me know, and we might do more of it. But now, let's go ahead and try and catch some Pokemon. And I don't know if the three-step glitch is fixed today. I really hope it is. No one on Reddit or Twitter was saying anything, but that was disgusting yesterday. It, it, it is literally game-breaking, so 
Bless up, it's fixed. We'll see you guys out in the field. Okay, so for the remainder of today's vlog, we're gonna go out to the park. I think my dad's got the day off work, so he's gonna come play Pokemon Go with me in the park. Um, should be pretty fun, so hopefully we'll find some Kangaskhans as well. Also, a big shout out to Signet, who sent me a bunch of awesome portable charges for my adventures. Um, definitely big shout out to these guys. I actually bought one when I bought my Nexus, and uh, they've sent me a lot more, so I will never run out of battery on the go now. We are set. Thank you, Sophie from Signet. Alrighty, so we're gonna go out to the park. Dad's gonna join me. He's gonna play Pokemon Go for the first time. It's gonna be pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, we're hopefully gonna have some cool Pokemon out there. We'll see how we go. Okay, so apparently we're hunting Pokemon today in this temple. Sounds sick. I guess we're out here in this middle of this temple. It's in the middle of a park somewhere. There's some lures down, some good Pokemon. But uh, there's actually some Diglets around, which I've never really seen, apart from that egg that we got. So yeah, we're just going to go around the park. Uh, I think my dad's going to catch his first Pokemon, which should be pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, look at this. We've got a lot to work with here, so this should be pretty fun. Damn. We got ourselves a nice little pagoda. Um, I think there's a gym or a poke stop on these places, but yeah, we're trying to enter the park because there's not much really here for us. Okay, so Dad's just getting ready to catch his first Pokemon, but something really weird that happened for his screen. He didn't catch any Pokemon for his starter. It gave him a Pikachu for his starter, so I don't know exactly why that happened, but whatever. You know what that Pokemon is, right, Dad? Yeah. What is it? Uh, it's one of them things. No, what is it, Dad? What is it? A Pikachu. Yeah, okay, you got it, you got it. Yeah, that's all Now, what other, what other Pokemon do you know, though? Charmander. And? That's about it. No, come on, you gotta have, you, what about Mewtwo? Yeah, that's about it. I'm not into it. Yeah, but you're gonna be into it. You gotta be into it. There's an awesome bridge coming up. We're gonna check it out. Some ducks in the water. So hopefully that means there's side ducks out here or something we can catch. It's the first hatch of the day. I think it's a 2K egg. Please give me a Pikachu. I wish Dad could trade me the Pikachu, but he can't. It's not out yet. So here we go. Hatching the first one. Uh, Pikachu is all I really want out of this one, please. Another Zubat. Dad, this is the one you don't want, all right? That's the one I've had a million times over. I'm just gonna incubate the rest of these eggs, then we'll get back on our adventure. Still gonna try and find a Pokemon for Dad to catch. I don't even know, but there's like a full dead set BMX track at this park. That's so cool. All right, another egg hatching. Dad, do you wanna do the honors and press the screen? It's pretty, it's, it's pretty much luck based, but hopefully, with your touch, you might get something new here. Come on. Yeah, you didn't do well. You tried your best, but we got a pigeon. Pigeon? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. That's not very really tough. No, it's actually really bad, actually. <laughs> All right. So out here chilling, we got a pokey stop right next to us. Now, click on it, click on the screen. Where, see that little blue thing? Click on it, and then spin it like this. Like, do that. Yep. Like, do that. And that way you get your Pokeballs. Battle one of those two things, do do it or a Metapod. All right, you've chosen the Doduo. That's, you know, it's not exactly the greatest choice. Now, do you know how to throw a Pokeball, Dad? Why is he invisible? Are you catching invisible Pokemon? Where is it? It's, it's in the middle of the screen. It's just aim for that, aim for that. Just go up, just go slightly up. Now you're gonna go a little more power. <laughs> you're catching an invisible one. That's uh- I got no balls left. No, it, it, there you I'll go. go for it now. Yes, there we go. You're gonna catch an invisible Doduo, Dad. You excited? As much as I can be. And it's stuck. You got the glitch. Not exactly great Pokemon hunting today. <laughs> Not at all. Alright, Dad's back at it again. He's got a cat. Oh, he's still invisible. You got it. Oh, that was a good throw. Oh, there he is. He actually appeared that time. It looks like your phone's just so bad. It literally takes ages to like spawn the models. Here we go. You catch your first Pokemon, Dad? Come on. Yay! Look at you. He's got a Pokemon. There we go. Caterpie, that's your first one. First one. There we go. And you get 500 XP for a new Pokemon. Go ahead, click OK. Now, if you want to evolve them, you got to catch a lot more of those guys. Yeah, so I got to keep going. Yeah, you got to stick in the start ground. start of a long run. Yeah, very, very long run indeed. So we're just going to chill here for a bit and we've got to lure down. We're just going to see if anything can spawn. We'll see how we go. Dad, 
chilled out in the park for like half hour or whatnot. Didn't find anything new. Found a bunch of Pokemon. He got a bunch of Pokemon. He was getting into it. Um, I was just finding a lot of the same stuff. That's fine. You know, you need to grind up. You can't always get the new Pokemon. We're driving home and I see a tentacle on three step. I'm like, you know, three step glitch. It could be somewhere in Canada for all I know. And, um, you know, I didn't know where it was. And we kept driving down the road. It went to the top left spot. And I was like, oh, maybe, just maybe. Brr, and then tentacle on the other side of the road. I was like, that pull over. Get there, and I started the vlog. Just when we thought all was lost, Tentacruel out of nowhere. Yeah, Dad was driving down the road. I saw Tentacruel, and I was like, oh, maybe he might pop up. Wait up, he's not, he's not letting me battle him. He's riding to this gym, it's stressing me out. Come on, please. And then after that, my battery ran out, but I was still trying to catch it. I was like, I'm not letting this go. I, I said the voice recording and whatnot. Okay, you guys can hear me, but the camera has faded. I tried to wait until the battery would last, but it hasn't lasted, so I'm just gonna have to do this. Please? No, no, I got the Pokeball glitch. We got the Pokeball glitch. Could you believe it? And I you know, restarted my application, tried to get it up. My dad was coming through. He's like, Lachlan, what are you talking about? There's no tentacle here. He's had his phone up. And just like that, the tentacle had disappeared and no tentacle. One like equal one not cruel tentacle. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys tomorrow. Later, guys.